Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Towalker. A cube with edges of length 10 contains nine identical spheres as shown. One sphere is in the center of the cube. Above it are four spheres that are tangent to it and tangent to each of the four corners of the cube. Below it is another layer of four spheres that are tangent to the center sphere and tangent to the four corners of the cube. What is the radius of each sphere? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. The key to solving this problem is to look at the geometry from the right perspective. Rather than analyzing all nine spheres, we will make one great simplification. We will only consider the position of three spheres along the diagonal of the cube. We will then calculate the length of the diagonal of this cube. Suppose we have a cube. To do this, we will consider the following right triangle. Suppose the cube has an edge length equal to s. Then the bottom face will have a diagonal that has a length s times the square root of 2. Then the long diagonal can be calculated using your favorite theorem. This results in the length of s times the square root of 3. If s is equal to 10, we have the following dimensions. We will then calculate the length of the long diagonal in terms of the radius of each sphere. From the bottom sphere, we have a cube that forms between the center of that sphere and the corner of the cube. This cube will have a length equal to the radius of the sphere, which means its long diagonal will be equal to r times the square root of 3. We then have a length here equal to r. We then have a diameter equal to 2r. We then have a radius equal to r. And we then have another distance from the center of the sphere to the corner of the cube which will be equal to r times the square root of 3. The entire distance will be equal to r multiplied by the quantity 4 plus 2 times the square root of 3. And this is equal to 10 times the square root of 3. We can thus solve for r, and to simplify things, we'll multiply by the conjugate. We thus get that r is equal to the following, which simplifies to be 10 times the square root of 3 minus 15, and that's approximately equal to 2.32. Incredible! Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. See you next episode as we continue our quest to solve the world's problems one video at a time.